Good morning. We're going back to the Gospel of Luke for just two more verses today, and that'll be Luke 2, verse 51 and 52. Here's what they say. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. But his mother kept all these things in her heart, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. Now, we already talked about this back at uh, verse 40 or somewhere thereabouts. Yes, verse 40. So Jesus, he's in the temple. He's having debates with kind of the top theologians, but he goes back home with mom and dad. He continues to be subject to them. He's 12 years old, but he's already, you know, vastly, he's already in an in a awesome place uh, with the full intellect and uh, undimmed intellect. And mother keeps all these things in her, in her heart. So Jesus, even though he's, he's perhaps far beyond them in some respects at this point, he's subject to them. Every one of us who's a child needs to be subject to our parents, you know, in the Lord. And Jesus does that. But I find verse 52 to echo the thing I said to you the other morning at verse 40. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. So Jesus increased in wisdom. He did not just, as we said, uh, just suddenly have the whole encyclopedia of full, all divine knowledge. Boom, it wasn't upon him, you know, in his head. He learned. He learned wisdom. He increased in wisdom. He increased in stature. So yes, he's growing up. He's, he's becoming a, a full-blown adult, adult male person. He increases in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. And so Jesus is beginning to influence people right and left in different ways, in his humble, very humble and kind and gentle ways. But it's interesting to me, this is more evidence here that Jesus Jesus increased in wisdom. He did not know a whole bunch of stuff. He, well, he didn't come with all this knowledge sort of like already on his hard drive. He had to learn what his mission was. He had to learn what it's like to walk with God the Father. He had to learn what it's like to pray and to communicate with God and even to experience what, what he must have experienced at the hands of the other different children and people and unfair things happening to him, you know, and he had to learn all that and still become a kind and gentle person. So Jesus, Jesus is our example. Look at the thing that we see in the Bible. Precious to know. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Jesus increased in wisdom. He didn't just come all with everything nailed down and uh, miles ahead of everybody else. Lord, thank you for this humble beginning. We see yet another example of it here. Jesus came and was subject to everything just as we must be subject to everything. Now, Lord, help us to, be, to seek your wisdom. Help us to be subject to the wisdom of Jesus that we find that you have given us in your word. And Lord, I know your blessings will be upon us deeply then. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may God's blessings follow you and accompany you all the things you do today. God bless you.